Hey everyone, I am Akash and I welcome you all to this channel. So friends, in this video, we will learn how to deploy React application on AWS S3. So first of all, you should have your AWS account. Okay, so this is my AWS account and this is the React application that we are going to deploy. I have simply set it up using npx create react app. Okay, and this is the small React application that we will be deploying on AWS S3. So what we can do? We can simply go to like S3 dashboard using this particular search bar. Simply click on this S3. Click create bucket. So now it will ask us some configuration details. So the AWS region, you can select the nearest region that is possible. So as I'm in India, I will be selecting Mumbai. Over here, we have to simply give the name for our S3 bucket. So I will be giving it like my name hyphen demo s3 something like this it should be unique that's why i have selected this particular name you can give it some other meaningful name as well now we are going to keep all these settings as it is we are not going to touch these settings right now and there will be an option to create bucket simply click on that cool so our s3 bucket is created successfully but right now as we can see it does not contain any objects Okay, so what we can do now is we can simply create the build. So to create the build, the react build, what we can do, we can run a command that is npm run build and it will create an optimized production build for us. Now, meanwhile, what we can do is we can simply enable some of the properties of AWS S3 bucket so that it can support the website hosting. So inside the properties tab, what we can do, simply go to the bottom. And over here, we can simply do edit static website hosting and we can simply enable it. Something like this. And over here, we can simply pass index.html and host a static website. It should be uh, enabled. And we are not going to add any redirection rules and simply click on save changes. Cool. So this particular property is enabled. Now inside the permission tab, what we can do right now it is blocking all public access so we have to edit it and we have to uncheck this particular checkbox and click on save changes just simply write confirm cool one more thing that we have to do there is a bucket policy and we have to add a bucket policy as well so how we are going to add a bucket policy we can simply click on edit and we can click on policy generator over here we have to select s3 because we are writing the policy for s3 bucket from in principle i will simply add star and in actions i will simply add a get action basically it will be a uh, okay get object and over here we have to add the amazon resource name so that we are going to get from over here bucket arn simply copy it and simply paste it over here add statement and uh, Okay, so it's saying like a policy is a document that acts as a container. Add one or more statement. What is the thing that we are missing? I don't know. We have added, right? Uh, we have added what was needed. I have added the star as well. I don't think anything else is needed. Cool. So it is uh, like we can simply click on generate policy from here what we can do we can simply click uh, like copy paste it over here the only thing that we have to do now is simply add slash and star over here okay or else it will not work so this is the policy we can simply do save changes so we have added we have made the changes in properties as well and in permissions as well now what we can do inside the object section let's have a look at the build first if it is created Yes, the build is successfully created and over here also we can see the build folder is generated. Now what we can do, we can simply like um, copy all the contents of the build folder. Okay, uh, just simply copy it and drag it so that we can upload and just click on upload over here. So as we can see, the status is getting changed from pending to succeeded. Cool. So all the uh, you know files are uh, like uploaded now what we can do uh, simply go one step back uh, we can see that all of these files are uploaded 
now we need to find the url and the url will be available over here like inside the properties and inside static website hosting over here we just simply need to click on it cool so friends our website is successfully deployed on s3 and we have got this particular s3 url as well so you can open it anywhere it will your website will open so friends if you have learned something new from this video then don't forget to like share, and subscribe and thank you for watching